Yan, magandang, magandang, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Sige po, inaanyayahan ko po ang lahat. Medyo welcome po sa bahay ni Pastora. Oh, <laughs> bahay ni Pastora. This is my home. This is my house. Welcome. This is our home. This is our house. Ayan. So, kami po ay wini-welcome po namin ang buhay ng bawat isang naka-online, naka-tuning ngayon. So, we encourage each and everybody of us po na kindly like and share our Facebook live right now. Okay, sige. So, konti urong ko lang para talagang actually po we are live na live po kami. So, magandang 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 gabi. So, magsha-shout out lamang po tayo ngayon. Ayan. Sige, baka yung iba ay uh, nag-aayos pa. Ayan, we have uh, Three viewers already on the sa bahay ni sa bahay ni kuya sa bahay ni kuya sa bahay ni, ni pastor <laughs> sa bahay ni pastor welcome po sa lahat po ng ating pong viewers for this night ayan magandang magandang gabi po so makikita nyo po ang ating pong tema ngayong gabi ay uh, this is uh, meron po tayong lampshade dito ayan 300 dirhams lamang po yan. <laughs> Pero joke lamang po. Talagang nag-ano na yun, nag-plug na. Actually po, uh, tonight is uh, 10 to 9 na na. Popost po natin ang ating pong team for this night. We have Bible study. Ayan. So, maaring yung iba sa inyo ay nagtataka, bakit pastora, bakit pastor, or bakit po dalawa ang ating Bible study? Actually po, Since lockdown, ayan, nakakatuwa ang Lord kasi iba't iba na rin po ang namimit natin. So, we accommodate as much as we can sa ating pong mga gawain. So, ginawa po natin just to accommodate po ang ating pong pang-araw-araw na mga activities sa ating pong church. We incorporated it on a digital platform, which is yung tinatawag natin online stream or live stream. So, hindi na natin pakakatagalin pa. Magandang gabi din po, Santo Tomas Janis, uh, Reston, yan, Marites Hopson, and Pastor Roel Idio. So, hindi na po natin pakakatagalin pa. Before we start, we will pray. Yan, samahan niyo po ako. We will just close your eyes and bow down our heads and we will pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We ask your presence, Lord God. Lord, truly, isa ka, Panginoon, na napakadakila sa lahat. You alone, Lord. Let, Panginoon, your will be done, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig, kasama namin, mano makinig, manood, at makipag-tune in ngayong gabi. We appreciate, we, we, we would like, Lord God, na to encounter you Lord God, through the power of the Holy Spirit this night, we ask that the Holy Spirit will move in our lives, Lord God. We ask that your word will be a two-sharp and two-edged sword, Panginoon, na hindi lamang, Panginoon, basta lang kami makapakinig. Hindi lamang, Panginoon, basta lamang namin magagas. Kundi, Panginoon, Lord, yung talagang totoong pananalangin, yung talagang totoong word na galing sa inyo, Panginoon, ngayong gabi, yun yung matatanggap namin. At Nagpapasalamat kami sa buong maghapon, sa buong mag-araw. And Lord, cleanse it by your blood, Panginoon. We are healed by your stripes. We are healed, Panginoon. And we declare that this night, that this Bible study is yours. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Sige, palakpakan mo nga si Lord ngayong gabi. Ayo. Yung the best clap of praise. Sige, yung the best. Yan. Sige po. So, magandang, magandang, magandang gabi po. Again, ngayon po ay ang ating Bible study. So, we will study His Word for tonight. Maring ikaw ngayon ay um, nagtatanong or meron kang mga katanungan ngayong gabi. But, sige, samahan niyo po ako. Ang ating pong topic ngayong gabi ay earthen vessel. Sabihin mo nga kapatid, earthen vessel. Ayan. So, 
maaring ang ano natin ngayon ay tema natin ay pinagata pinamagatang earthen vessel. So we have Second Corinthians chapter four, beginning verse four to verse eight to eleven. Yan. Sige po. So ngayon pong gabi, babasahin natin. Sabi dito in verse 8. Yan, ready ka na ba? Handa ka na ba? Ako po excited. Talagang, I myself, I'm claiming this one. Talagang kiklaim natin tong word niya ngayong gabi. Sabi dito in verse 8. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair. Persecuted in verse nine, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Maaring ito y familiar na sa yun. Naririnig mo na sa mga kanta. In verse ten, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies. In eleven, for we who live. Are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. Kapatid, I encourage you now to read the Word of God. Ayan. Siguro marahil ngayon po talaga actually I don't have any PowerPoint. I don't have any personal. Hindi po talaga ako gumawa. I don't know why, but I don't know why. But still, sabi ng Lord dito, babasahin na. Sama niyo po ako. Ulitin ko po yung verse. Second Corinthians chapter four, beginning verse eight until eleven. Yan. Sino po dito yung nakakaranas na mapersikut ka? Sino dito yung nakaranas na Lord? Ano pa bang gagawin ko? Lahat binigay ko na. Yan. Sino dito yung galon? O baka kapatid, ikaw ire. Ano ba yan? Ako'y pagod na pagod na eh. Wala pa bang, ano pa bang kulang? Sige, hampas pa. Ano pa? O. Oh. Baka ire ikaw naman nito yung parang kay Basha, kay Popo, sinasabi. Lahat naman, binigay ko na. Ano pa ba? O. Oh. Sino po dito ang galon? Yung sa sitwasyon mo ngayon, kamusta ang sitwasyon mo ngayon? How was your heart? How was everything going on in your life right now? Are you feeling stressed out? Are you feeling burned out? Are you feeling yung bang Lord? Ano pa ba? Yan. Sige. Kung ikaw ire, makinig ka. God will put something in your heart na yung kabe. And are you ready for this one? Yan. So ngayon po. Sabi po dito, ang pinaka-point number one natin, bakit tinawag or bakit merong earthen vessel? Bakit ba kailangan yung earthen vessel? Maaring ikaw, nagtatanong ka kasi, parang ang lalim naman po nung word niyo, pastora. Parang hindi ko po siya maintindihan. Ano po yung earthen vessel? Sabi po dito, in verse 11, sabi dyan, For we who live are always being given over to death. For Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. Naniniwala ka ba na you are in a fleshly kind or physical? Or yung yung katawan mo ay tinatawag nating earthen vessel. Pag sinabi nating earthen vessel, na bubulok, yan. Sa ay sabi nga po diga. Sa tayo ay sa alabok ng galing, sa alabok din, matatapos. And eto po dito, sinasabi dito, mortal flesh. Pag sinabi natin mortal flesh, yung katawan. And sinasabi ng Lord po dito, in number one, why is it that we have earthen vessel? Bakit ba tinatawag natin may earthen vessel? So number one, sabi po dyan, Aha. Sabi po John in number one. Sabi, when God sent His Son for us, yun. Sabi po dito, He gave up His life. Binigyan niya po tayo ng buhay. Just hold, just hold on. Dun sa yun sa word ng Lord. Sabi dito in number one. Sabi John 
in verse 10, sabi, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also may be manifested in our bodies. Ang katawan daw po pala natin ay nabubulong. Ang katawan daw natin ay napapagod. Ang katawan daw natin ay may hangganan. Sabihin mo nga may hangganan. Yan. Marahil ikaw ngayon, nandun ka sa point na ayaw mo na, suko na yung, yung physical mong katawan, ayaw na, Lord, ano pa, ano pa ba, ano, meron, ano pa po ba yung kaya kong gawin sa aking, sa aking physical na katawan? Ano pa po ba yung kaya kong i-effort sa buhay ko ngayon? Yan. Did you ask that kind of question? Sabi po ng Lord dito, We are afflicted in every way but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Even if you are in the middle of something that God is doing na ayaw mo na, you are parang, you are going to break. You are going to, ilalabas mo na yung anger mo, ilalabas mo na talaga yung lahat. Baga, nandun ka na sa posisyon na, Lord, nanggigigil ka na, Lord, ayoko na. But sinasabi ng Lord dito, anak, sabi niya, you are an earthen vessel. It's natural, number one, it's natural for us to feel that we are sometimes na hindi natin kaya kasi gusto ng Lord maintindihan mo, kapatid, nakakayanin mo lamang ito, yung mga nangyayari sa atin ngayon, if and only if we will understand yung importansya ng pagiging um, tao. Yung importansya ng pagiging earthen vessel. Bakit nga ba tayo tinawag na earthen vessel? And sabi dito ng Lord, in number one, sabi, when God sent His Son for us, in Romans chapter 8 verse 3, Sabi dyan, the law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness. Naniniwala ka ba na yung pagiging tao natin ay likas talaga tayo, ay meron tayo talagang kahinaan? Sabi mo nga, meron talaga tayong kahinaan. Ayan. And of our sinful nature, so that God did, ulitin ko po yung verse natin, Romans chapter 8. Beginning verse 3. NLT po ito. Litin natin. The law of Moses was unable to save us because of the weakness of our sinful nature. Likas daw po ang tao na makasalanan. Dahil tayo po ay merong katawang lupa, likas tayong makasalanan. And then sabi dito, So that God did what the law could not do. Ginawa ng Lord yung hindi kayang gawin sa panahon nila Moises. He sent his own, he sent his whole own son in a body like the bodies we sinners have. Nagkatawang lupa, di ba? Nagkatawang lupa si Jesus Christ for us to be saved. And in that body, God declared an end to sin's control over us by giving his son as a sacrifice for our sins. Meron po palang dahilan kung bakit tayo ginawang earthen vessel ng Lord. It's not because na ginawa ka niya para maipakita yung, yung kahinaan sa ibang tao. No. It's not because na gusto niya na mahayag yung, yung kasalanan. No. It's because, number one, He sent His Son. It's because He sent His Son. Sabihin mo nga, He sent His Son. Marami kasi po sa atin nagtatanong ngayon, tao lang naman ako eh. Di ba? Nagkakamali. O eh, marami tayong ganyan. Naririnig natin to. O kaya, what to do? Di ba? I'm just human. Marami tayong ganun. Pero sinasabi, marami pong nagsasabi ng ganun. Pero sinasabi ng Lord po dito, in verse 4, in verse 4 po, Romans 8 verse 4, He did this so that the just requirement of the law would be fully satisfied for us who no longer follow our sinful nature but instead follow the Spirit. Kaya po pala tayo nang hihina. Kaya pala nang hihina yung physical nating katawan sometimes. 
it's because actually hindi naman talaga yung physical mong katawan yung nanghihina. Eh. Ang nanghihinang unang-una is yung spiritual mong buhay. Sabihin mo nga, spiritual. Our battle is not by flesh and blood. Ulitin ko po ito. In Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, beginning verse 6, sabi dyan, our battle is not against flesh and blood. Ang unang, ang, ang katawan natin ay actually, actually talaga ay yung spirit talaga natin yun ang hihina. And ito po yun. We will just clear. In Romans 8 verse 9, sabi dyan, But you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the spirit. If you have the spirit of God living in you, and remember, that those who do not have the spirit of Christ, nung nakakilala ka na pala kay Lord, yung nakilala mo na pala yung kaisa-isa niyang anak, yung bugtong na anak niya nung tinanggap mo si Jesus, marahil ikaw nakakilala ka kasi true ibang tao. Marahil may nag-share sa'yo kung sino si Jesus. Marahil merong merong taong ginamit ang Lord sa buhay mo. And ngayon, naghahanap ka kung sino yung talagang parang magme-mentor out sa'yo. Ayan. Kung baga nakukulangan yung spirit, nakukulangan ka. Actually, kapatid, ang spirito ang dapat mong palakasin. Sabihin mo nga, our spirit must be fed. Kailangan na, nagpapakain. Actually, for example po, personally sa akin, when I did not have a personal devotion during the night, sa gabi po ha, for example, Hirap po akong gumising ng umaga talaga. Sino po dito yung gano'n? Yung hirap talang nung gumising. Hirap kang gumising. Yung bang, babangon ka na lang eh, papasok eh, five minutes. Yung snooze, uso yung snooze button. Sino dito yung gano'n? Yan. Ako po hindi po, ako po hindi po ako nahihiya sometimes. Ay gano'n din po ako. nag snooze button ka din. Pero ito po. One of the signs or signals na nanghihina na yung kaluluwa mo is it's not being well fed. Yan. Marahil ngayon, you are asking, paano ko po mapapakain? Yan. Sabi dyan, but you are not controlled by your sinful nature. Hindi na yung, hindi, hindi, hindi na yung dahilan na makasalanan ka. Kasi unang-una, kung nakakilala ka sa Panginoon, kapatid, di ba? Sabi dyan, but you are not controlled by your sinful nature anymore. Nakakilala ka na eh. Dapat ang dahilan natin, di ba? Ang dahilan natin every day is we live by God. Dapat ang dahilan natin is to live by the Spirit of God. Bakit importante? It's because para kailangan mapalakas mo ito. Sabihin mo nga, kailangan mapalakas. Yan. And then sabi po dito, in verse 10, Yan. In Romans chapter 8, verse 10, And Christ lives within you. So even though your body will die because of sin, the Spirit gives you life because you have made right, right with God. Dumating na ba sa punto ng buhay mo na even hirap na hirap ka na, even talagang ayaw mo na sukong Lord, Hands, talagang hands up na, ayaw na. Pero, nung nanalangin ka, when you entrusted God in your life, when Jesus sa yung talagang naging sentro ng buhay mo, ay talaga nga namang yung mga hindi mo nagagawa noon, nagagawa mo ngayon. ba? Yung hindi mo nagagawang gumising sa umaga para lang magbasa ng, 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 ng word niya, ng, ng, ng Bible, ng Biblia. Kausapin mo siya through prayer bago ka matulog kahit na buong maghapon na duty ka. Yung maraming maraming mamba backstab sa iyo at at your back, 'di ba? You are being persecuted sometimes in your workplace. Sino po dito yung ganon? Or sometimes dumarating sa punto na nang hihina ka, kumbaga kulang ka sa motivation. But when you put God first in your life, when you put Jesus at the, siya yung naging stronghold ng buhay mo, lumalakas ka. Sabi dyan, the Spirit of God 
who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Hawakan mo nga yung puso mo. Hawakan nga natin yung puso natin. Ano ba yung laman ng puso mo ngayon? Sino ba yung marahil if you are well, kasal na po, syempre ah. May asawa, di ba? May mga anak na laman, may parents, may mga mahal sa buhay. Pero sino yung dapat unang-unang nakaupo? Sino yung dapat unang-una dapat na priority mo sa buhay mo? Sabi dyan, the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Lahat po pala tayo na nakakilala sa Kanya, na nakakilala kay Kristo, kailangan dapat na share kailangan dapat na hayag siya, kailangan dapat you have to show. Sabi dyan, and just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, naniniwala ka ba kapatid na sa, si- sa simpleng pakikinig mo ngayon, sa simpleng pagtugon mo sa Kanya, God is talking to you right now. If ikaw to, Nawalan ka ng trabaho. Yan. Sino po dito yung mga nawalan ng trabaho? Or, mawawalan ng trabaho? Yan. Sino po dito yung nakikinig na nonood na mga... Yan. O kaya, ay may mga, may mga trials or testing. Meron kang mga bagay na hindi agad. Parang tingin mo imposible. Sabi dyan ng Lord. And just as God Christ Jesus raised from the dead. Yan. Malinaw na malinaw. Walang kahit na sino mang Diyos. Sabi nga, gods. Small g, gods. Walang ibang yung mga Diyos-Diyosan na nabuhay. Sabihin mo nga, nabuhay. Pangmuli, kundi si Jesus lang. Sabi dito, and just as God, eto po ay Romans chapter 8, verse 11. The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead live in you. Sabi mo nga, live in me. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, He will give life to your mortal bodies by the same Spirit living in you. Yung katawan na binigay niya sa krus ng Kalbaryo, nagbunga, binigyan siya ng spirit. ba? Diba? He gives life. The spirit that gives life. Yung buhay na sa tingin mo, lifeless ka na. Yung, buha, yung, yung, yung status mo ngayon na tila bagang walang wala ka na. Sino dito yung parang tingin mo yung sukong-suko ka na, nagigigil ka na, Lord, ayaw mo na. O, o kaya yung, mga, yung, yung iba dito na, Lord, I want to put everything to you. Pero wala kang time. Yan. Sabi dito ng Lord. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, start to make time with God. Marahil, you're an earthen vessel. Ang pinaka-primary reason siguro kung bakit ikaw nakikinig ngayon, kapatid, is because God is talking to you right now. Na ma- nangungusap siya sa'yo na ang buhay mo, hindi ka lang vessel. Sabihin mo nga, hindi lang ako vessel. Hindi lang ako tao. Ang posisyon mo pag nakakilala ka kay Kristo, ang posisyon natin pag nakakilala tayo kay Kristo, dapat sa pataas. Yung, 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 yung kahit na struggle ka na, kahit na hihirapan ka na, sabihin mo, just as God raised Christ from the dead, He will give life to me, to my mortal bodies, by the same Spirit living inside of me. Meron tayong tinatawag na Holy Spirit. Sabihin mo nga Holy Spirit. Yan. Maraming kilala si Abba Father. Maraming kilala si Jesus Christ. But more or less, sabi nga, more or less, mga 50%, hindi kilala kung sino yung banal na espiritu. Sinasabi dito, yung banal na espiritu, sa yung nanggaling. Sabi nga, sa yung nagiging moderator, yung mediator mo. Pag nakakausap mo siya, di ba? Nababa- sino po dito yung ganon? Yung when you pray, you feel goosebumps. When you pray, 
there is something inside na, na nagtataka ka na lang. Actually po, I have experiences. Meron po akong isang kakilala. Nagtaka siya. Nagtataka siya. Hindi niya alam anong dahilan kung bakit. But when I prayed to them, kasi medyo grupe eh, to them, God did something wonderful to their lives. Actually po, sa patotoo ko lamang po, when you pray, God moves. Ang Diyos, hindi siya namimili ng tao, hindi siya namimili, ah, may nunal yan, ayoko na. Oh. Ah, mahaba yung buhok niyan, ayoko na. Ah, ano yun eh, mahirap lang yun, ayoko na. No. God is not choosing anybody. Wala siyang pinipili. Wala siyang pinipiling tao. Yung, yung Holy Spirit sa buhay natin, yung mga taong akala mo, hindi mo na kayang mahalin, yung mga taong hindi mo na lubos para pag nakikita mo sila, nainis ka na. Parang, siya na naman yung nakikita ko. Oh, baka kapatid, ikaw yun. Ikaw ire. Ay, ano naman? Alika na. Ayoko nang makita yan. O kaya, baligtad. Ikaw naman yung nilalayuan. Kapatid, sabi dito, And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, lahat ng akala mong patay, lahat ng akala mong patay, sabi nga, pat, patay sa buhay mo, ya, yeah? God can do something through that if you put everything. Maybe you are lost while nawawala ka para bang kung saan ka dalin. Sino po dito yung ganun? Yung naranasan niya ay, ah, ah, eto, okay lang ako. Okay lang. Magtatrabaho ko, ganyan. O kaya, kung saan ka bahilahin? Kapatid, sinasabi ng Lord dito, when we know Christ, sabi dyan, as a closing, when we accepted Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, He died on the cross not just to die. Ulitin ko po. He died on the cross not just to die. Hindi lamang hindi siya nagpakamatay. Actually, kapatid, He died with the cost. Sabihin mo nga, with a cost. And that is to separate you from your sin. That is to separate us dun sa dati nating buhay. That is to separate us dun sa makamundong buhay na kinagagalawan po natin ngayon. Marahil, ah, sige, oh, Christian naman ako eh. Na-attend ako sa church. Lagi ako nakatune in. Lagi ako, ganyan, marami kang binabanggit. Pero ang tanong ko, kinakausap mo ba siya? Are you talking to him every day? Do you start your day with God? Inuuna mo ba siya? Ayan. Ako po, actually, there are time, uh, dumating po ako sa punto ng life ko na sabi ko sa sarili ko lang, sabi ko talaga, papipiliin ako between my work and God. Sabi ko po, yan. Alam po, ako po hindi pa po ako nag-open kila pastor. Pero sinabi ko po sa sinabi ko po 'yan. Sabi ko po talaga kay Lord, if I will choose between God and my work, between God and my parents, between God and my life group, I would not choose anything. But instead, I will choose God. Dumating po ako sa point na even if I'm tired doing things in my work. Even if I'm tired of loving people, God is still God in my life. Sabihin mo nga, Lord, you are my God. Baka mamaya, di ba? Si David, I will close with this one. Have you been in a situation where as you can sacrifice everything to him. Dumating ka na sa posisyon na wala na. As in, siguro kung meron kang ibibigay kay Lord, that is your life. Yung tipong wala ka ng iba as in ma-offer sa kanya. Sabi nga, I, sabi, sabi dun kay David sa Psalms, 
I will not offer anything that costs me nothing. Kapatid, if you are with me right now, and nakikinig ka, nanonood ka, and God is talking to you right now, what are the things in your life? We are an earthen vessel. Vessel po tayo. We are human. Pero ano yung mga bagay na gusto ng Lord ibigay mo sa Kanya ngayon, i-lay down mo sa Kanya ngayon, yung sitwasyon mo, yung, yung, yung tingin mo o wala, yung, yung negative sa paningin mo, ano yung mga bagay, even positive, even yung parents, yung mga kaibigan, yung vices. If ever you are hearing this one at hirap ka doon sa meron, meron ka pang hindi sinusuko sa kanya ngayon. Marahil kaibigan, marahil relasyon, marahil yung ikaw mismo as an earthen vessel, hindi mo pa talaga totally masuko sa kanya. Kapatid, sabi dyan, in Romans 3.23 as I close, sapagkat ang lahat ay nagkasala at walang sino mang nakaaabot sa kaluwalhatian ng Diyos. We are all uh, sinners. But, sabi dito, but, the spirit who raised Christ from the dead is living inside of us. What is our faith? Ano yung mandated na dapat mong intindihin, dapat nating intindihin? Whether we are in a higher position, whether we are, you are just worker, tingin mo ang liit ng tingin mo sa sarili mo, whether you are wala ka pang mabigay, wala as in kulang pa, whether you are napapagod, ayoko na, o kaya, you are waiting for something to happen to your life na breakthrough sa buhay mo. Kapatid, Hold on. Sabi, stir up the spirit. Yung pagiging ang earthen vessel, actually, we have what we call spiritual life. Ito pong ginagawa natin, it, it steers our spiritual life. And if nanonood ka, nakikinig ka ngayon, first time mong manood, first time mong makinig, samahan mo ko dun sa maigling panalangin, and we will pray for you. And after the prayer, if you're new, you can connect with, meron po tayong messenger, yan, meron pong messenger itong Facebook account na ito, and you can tap, you can send us a message, um, day one board Dubai, I need prayer, o kaya po, I, we can accommodate as much as we can, gagawin po natin yan by God's grace, if you need some help, yan, or if you need some visitation po, yan, actually po, last Two week, one, uh, last week, we've started out po na umikot sa ating mga kapatiran kasi they're longing for, for fellowship. Some of us are longing for talk. Yan. So ngayon pong gabi, as I close, we will close in prayer. And panampalatayaan mo na you are an earthly vessel, you are an earthen vessel with a cost. Hindi ka lang tao na walang gagawin. Kasi unang-una, ang katawan, yung, yung spirito ni Kristo ay nasa atin. Sabi dyan, the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 lives in you and just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead. He will give life to your mortal bodies by this same Spirit living within you. We will claim this one. Lahat po tayo, sumandali tayo yumuko and pumikit. I don't know kung ano man yung sitwasyon mo ngayon, kapatid. Marahil you just did online, nag, nag, ano ka lang, nag, nag scroll ka lang, nakita mo to, and you're hearing my voice. God is telling you na sumapit ka sa kanya again. If you are in, in the verge of giving up into your life and you are hearing this one, kapatid, God has a purpose in every pain. God has a purpose in every dryness sa buhay mo. God has a purpose in your life. 
wag na wag mong sasayangin yung buhay mo. And if you are hearing this kasi napapagod ka, you are um you are just laying down in your bed and tila bagang nahirapan ka na sa buhay mo and you are about to give up to everything. Kapatid, hold on to God. Stir up the presence of God in your life. Talk to God. And Panginoon, nagpapasalamat kami ngayong gabi. We claim na this night ay meron kami hindi lamang natutunan, kundi Lord, magsilbing daan itong online na, na word mo ngayong gabi to touch lives, Lord. To, to, to share, Panginoon, kung ano man yung, yung gusto mo, Panginoon, sa buhay ng bawat isa. Maging Panginoon sa amin, Lord God, in behalf, Lord God, ng JA1 for Dubai, we are praying for every uh, men and women of God who are tuning in right now, Panginoon, nakasama namin na, Lord, give us a heart, give us a spirit that comes from you. Marahil yung sa amin, Lord God, ay pagod. Yung iba sa amin, Lord God, ay stressed out. Some of us are being persecuted. Some of us are being uh, laying just down kasi we are just relaxing. But Lord, we are asking your presence to be in our midst, to be in our lives right now. Sa lahat, Panginoon, na mga kapatid namin, Lord God, na nakatsunin na ka-online, even specially, even specially, Lord God, dun sa mga kapatira namin, Panginoon, na nangangailangan, Panginoon, ng, ng, ng Holy Spirit, ng kalinga mo, ng spirito mo, Panginoon. We are praying, Lord God, that deep in our hearts, Lord God, there are longingness that none, that sabi mo nga, Lord, there are an, an, a kind of longingness in our hearts, Lord God, that only you will fill it. And we believe, Lord God, that this night, Lord God, ito pong Bible studying ito, ay meron kaming natutunan. Meron kaming uh, napuno mo kami, Lord God, and by your grace, Lord God, we are, we are healed all. And we're asking for the protection and even for the, yung, yung, yung provision mo, even the providence that comes from you sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin. Lord God, we are asking for your love. We are asking for the Abba Father's love. Patuloy Lord na mag-move ka. Patuloy Lord na kumilos ka. And tinataas namin Panginoon ang buhay ng bawat isa sa amin ngayon pa lamang nagpapasakop kami sa iyo. And we are asking Lord God the peace that transcends all understanding Lord God. And Lord, we worship you. Lord, we honor you. We declare that this night, Panginoon, starting this night, we will talk to you. Starting this night, Lord God, we will encounter your presence. Starting this night, Lord God, we are praying that you will give us an urgency, the call to serve you again, Panginoon. Starting this night, Lord, give us a kind of commitment, the heart, Lord God, that commits. Lord God, sa buhay, sa, sa ginawa mo, sa service mo, Panginoon, and let your will be done, Lord God. Let the Holy Spirit, Lord God, fill each and every body of us. And Lord, tagumpay ka, Panginoon. We are excited sa mga gagawin mo sa aming mga kapatira na naka-online, naka-tune in ngayon. And we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We give you the highest praise, the highest honor and worship. In Jesus' name, Amen. Ipo palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Ayaw. Yes. So, kami po ay namamaalam pansamantala. Pero before that, baka po gustong may mag-testify sa ating kalagitnaan. Before we end, we have five minutes to nine o'clock. So, iba po sa atin ay siguro ay... Um, Kakain na, pero our, our lines are open, our comment box are open, sino po dito sa ating kalagitnaan na gustong magpasalamat kay Lord. Ayan. Baka meron kang kapatid ay gustong ishare na talaga nga namang you, you can't wait to be fried sa Friday service natin para mapasalamatan si Lord. Ayan. So open po ang ating comment box below sa baba. Ayan. So good evening po kay Ate Anastasia Barameda. Ayan, kay Nanay Anastasia Barameda. Magandang gabi din po. Ayan, ang mama, ang mama daw po ni Ate Mimi. Ayan, Bernie Gaba, Queen P. Santiago, Leonard Noriega, Leonard po ga, oh, Leonard Noriega, Rodel Mandak, Mary Ann Jacobe Tenorio, Yon, Ron Katunggal, El Unai Spiritu, Will 
Dren Talentino, Matlin Ocampo, Racer and Kuya Racer Melo. Ayan, magandang magandang gabi po sa Boy ng Bawat. Sa baka meron po siyang Ayan. Yon. So we have a uh, one testimony. Sabi po dito na ating admin on 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 air. Sabi dito po sa MH si Yayi answered prayer dahil nag-start na po siyang mag-work. Wow, praise God. Sige, palakpakan po natin si Lord. Ang sarap naman. Kakatuwa naman. May trabaho na po ang ating uh, youth. And for sure, claiming na mag-start na ulit si May again for another project. Yes, we will pray for that sa ating admin for tonight. Mary Ann Caballos, thank you Lord God in Jesus' name. Yes, we are claiming, claim na po natin. Uh, we are victorious in Christ Jesus. Amen po ba? Yes. So, sige po, meron po bang magte-testify last two minutes before we end? Okay lang po, just send it and we will read it. And, oo nga po pala, meron po tayong birthday celebrant today at 12 um, a.m. Or today, to, today po ba? September 1? Nakala yung September? September 1! Ayan. Sabi, happy birthday po kay Mika ayan, Medina. So, ate Mika Medina kay Mika. So, pwede po ba natin kantahan si Mika? 1, 2, 3. Happy birthday to you. Baka meron pa may mga birthday po. Birthday to you. Ayan. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Ayan. So, hindi, actually, akala ko po yung, oh, pero, ay, we, we will pray for that. Meron pa po tayo, baka meron pa po tayo mga ber, birthday, birthday, birthday celebrants for this night. Nakakatuwa naman ang Lord. Kasi, ayan. Talaga nga naman siya ay, okay, syempre pati si Praise El Cabos claiming din na magka-work na siya. Wow. So, to God be the glory. Magandang, magandang, magandang gabi po. Again, sa buhay ng bawat isa. And bumabati po kami na mapagpalang gabi. And uh, happy Tuesday for everybody. I'm again your host, Pastor Shikai Nagrospe, na bumabati po sa inyo ng God bless you, and to God be all the glory. Click here! Ilitok mo dito eh. Click here! Tiltok mo dyan. Click here! Click here! Click here to subscribe!